This video is a throwback. We recorded it several months ago when we first got our internet set up, but we didn't post it at the time. I was having some health problems. Uh, a lot of people have asked us how it's possible that we have Wi-Fi and if we still think that's off-grid. So here's your answer. So after two years of living the simple life with no internet, we decided to use resources available to us here to get Wi-Fi on our property. A large part of why we made that decision is the resources that we were expending, getting uh, our whole family, but particularly me, to internet access on a regular basis because I'm a writer who maintains a website. I had been driving to an internet location at least three times a week, and we realized that the gas that we were expending to do that, uh, as well as the wear and tear on our car, the time expenditure, and sometimes childcare, it was simply the least efficient way to handle that need. So some people have been curious about uh, how we're getting internet at our uh, off-grid property, and it's uh, not something available to absolutely everybody the way that we did it. But in our area, there's a uh, wireless internet service provider. They use a uh, network of line of sight antennas up on the ridges of the mountains around here. So if you're able to see one of their radio antennas from uh, your property, then you most likely will be able to get their internet signal. Uh, and today we're going to tell you uh, kind of how we went about doing that. All right, so first we had to uh, clear just a little bit of trees and brush so that we had a clear line of sight uh, at a location that was close to our yurt. Uh, so really we're only about uh, 30 or 40 feet away from the yurt. Uh, and we uh, erected this uh, 4x4 post uh, with a piece of conduit, uh, taking it another... Um, eight feet up or so. All in all, our tower is about 15 feet tall and it gets up above the obstacles and gets a clear line of sight over to the radio antenna. Nick went all fouchomatic on this pole, creating a bracket and a hinge so that it can just fold down and bring the radio down where you can reach it to see it. Or work on it and so that we can show it to you. So here's where we ran the the three-quarter inch conduit. Inside of here is the cap 5 line. It goes down into the ground and across the, the hill and down the hill and into the yurt. The service provider requires that you uh, bury the cap 5 line from the uh, receiver into the house. Um, so we buried three quarter inch PVC conduit uh, all the way back into the yurt. Uh, I ran a rope in that so that later when the installer came, he was able to just pull the cat five line right through that conduit and into our place. All right, so that cat five line comes through that conduit up through the floor of the yurt uh, and comes right to this wireless router. The wireless router is powered by two 12 volt deep cycle batteries which will eventually be part of our uh, battery bank that we charge with solar panels. So a big question is, uh, is this still off the grid? And um, I'm not too hung up on that definition necessarily. But a large part of what we're doing out here is just taking a good hard look at our energy consumption and still trying to live the life that we want and live a conscientious life. Um, and when we took a look at how, are we, how we were consuming energy um, and still maintaining the life that we wanted, this was the more energy efficient solution. So uh, charging these batteries off of solar rather than uh, driving the car to internet uh, it was definitely the right choice for us. We might not have made the choice to bring internet onto our property if it weren't a part of income earning for both of us. 
we're especially still on the stage where we're setting up our homestead, the stress of needing to maintain those incomes has been pretty, pretty challenging. And whether my health problems were actually related to that or not, it, it definitely, there were definitely connections there. So as much as I miss the sweet kind of simplicity of not having any connection out here, that just wasn't something we could sustain in the long run. Mm-hmm.